Tonight, 13 years after someone set an eight year old boy on fire, we may finally know why. Robbie Middleton's story is heartbreaking. He died last month from complications connected to his burns. Now, after all these years, reporter Sherman Chow has learned prosecutors could finally charge someone in this case. It's another story you'll see only on KHOU 11 News. And we need to warn you some of this video is hard to watch. I know the pain is gone. And Colleen I'm Middleton's son took 13 years to die from the devastating burns he received after being set on fire. He was dying in his hospital bed, and we asked him if he wanted to continue this fight, and he told us he did. Craig Seco is the family's attorney who took Robbie's sworn video deposition. It's hard to understand, but Robbie repeated what he's always said. Dying right on my, my desk and turn me around and do the gas in my face. His family filed a civil suit against Don Collins, then a 13-year-old neighbor. But what could motivate such a horrific attack? Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing this stunning answer. Robbie explained in his deposition that uh, Donald Collins had sexually assaulted him approximately two weeks before the fire in the very location where Robbie was set on fire. Robbie was too embarrassed to tell his mother, but days before his death, Robbie spoke, and for the record. He, he saw my clothes down and started ripping me. I asked if he'd ever done it before. He usually did it one of his cousins all the time. Shocking revelations. A key question no one had apparently asked him before now. And all the explained motives that I'd heard before didn't make sense to me. What has never made sense to the Middletons? He was never charged. And they told us there was never enough evidence. Consistent with this recent email from the Montgomery County Attorney's Office, too many contradictions, not prosecutable. But Robbie's parents say prosecutors never bothered to talk to their son. Now, Robbie is dead from his injuries. Reasonable that then perhaps a murder investigation could be opened? We certainly hope there is one going to be open. In 1998, Collins was taken into custody, but then released. Today, Don Collins is 26 years old and serving time for failure to register as a sex offender. The Middletons are now ready to take on another battle. Some of the bravest people I've ever met. Collins was not charged in this case. The sexual assault allegations are new and will be sent to the Montgomery County Attorney's Office, which did not return our calls. The Middletons hope if there are other sexual assault victims out there that they will step forward. The deposition was very hard for Robbie and his family. His mother left the room for part of it, and we want to thank them for sharing it with us. Sherman Chow, KHOU 11 News.